Surely he's not gonna get lord for a sight right now. There's no way this guy is gonna get lord for a sight right now. Just like no shot. He... No! What? No way. He just died for a sight. This is my hardcore Iron Man that cannot leave PvP worlds. The account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point and if you are the one to kill my hardcore Iron Man, you will receive the bounty on screen. We're gonna start off this video by completing a quest or attempting to complete a quest. Sins of the Father to unlock a new area on RuneScape. But just before starting the quest, I decided to do a bunch of skilling activities just to throw potential hunters off because in this quest we have so many different cutscenes that are pretty scary so I don't want anyone to camp those areas. I also did a barrel chest, got nothing. I believe this is my slayer task so yeah, it's, yeah I'm getting an XP drop from this. Oh, that's bad. Hello, Mr. Dragon Impling. Mid quest. I always find these when I'm not looking for them, so there we go. The question is will I get the dragon bones? I got the dragon bones. Beautiful. I don't know if you paid attention. I definitely did not. Apparently, I also got the Raycon Everyday Earbuds. And luckily for all of us, Raycon is today's video sponsor. The Raycon Everyday Earbuds is what I've been using every time I step outside of my house. These earbuds start at half the price of other premium audio brands and they sound just as good. And with optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, these earbuds are so comfortable. The Raycon Earbuds offer 8 hours hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life. It's no wonder Raycon's everyday earbuds have over 50,000 5 star reviews. There are a bunch of functions you can use with the earbuds, but I'm a simple man, I only use the simpler functions such as changing a song by tapping the right earbud 3 times. Click the link in the description box down below or go to buyraycon.com slash cengineer to get 15% discount of your Raycon purchase. Look at me, I can finally enter Darkmere, the land of the Vire Watches. You see, these Vire Watches, if I kill them, they do drop the Blood Fury thing. Which is a very useful item for the Inferno if I ever reach that stage. It's time for the final boss fight of the quest, and I'm a bit scared because one of the original PvP hardcore men by the name of Don't AFK Idiot died here. So I gotta be very careful, especially during this quest at such a low level. Man, this reminds me of Stranger Things. Oh my, yeah. This definitely reminds me of Stranger Things. The boss by the name of Vansrum Klausi has gotten three different special attacks, which you have to avoid to not take any damage. The first special attack is the Stare into the Darkness special attack, where you have to look away from him to not take any damage. If you look at him, you will take around 30 damage. The second special attack is the Blood Splat. If you step on it, you'll take around 30 damage. If you make Vanstrom Klaus step on it, he will take around 30 damage. Vanstrom's third special attack is the Acidic Blood Well, the reason why that PvP hardcore Iron Man died earlier. There's a guide that tells you to use darts or knives, which can make you run into the Blood Weld and take 50 damage. So I do recommend using a crossbow or a long range range weapon. All right, phase one, done. I will not survive this, no. I gotta go. So close yet so far. I did not want to shug into my brew as well. Not worth it, not worth it. So close, 22 HP. Oh, should I have used brood? No, it's not worth the brew, not worth the brew. I'm banking the brew and I'm banking the crystal shield in hopes that no one is gonna find me. I kinda have to, just to get that one extra food. Oh my god, we did it. Teleport out. If someone's waiting, I'm dead. If someone's waiting, I'm dead. I just need to teleport out. It's over. It's done! It's done! Get out of here! Yes! Oh my god! We actually did the quest. Oh, how many attempts was that? Like a billion attempts? 
And we finally, finally, finally completed it. Good for me. And we got some tome here, tome of experience. I think I'm going with Herdlore. 15k Herdlore experience. Another 15k. Oh. Another 15, 66 Herdlore. Oh my god. 45k Herdlore experience. 66 Herdlore, can we do anything? Super defense potions, very nice. So now, I should be able to teleport to Dark Mayor. We can kill these. Very close to safe zone, right here. And they will drop a Blood Fury, and when I need prayer, I just run here and pray. Oh look, they drop Blood Runes. That's pretty amazing as well. Look at that, 82 hit points, we're now 92 combat. Getting a little Slayer experience in and that's 74 defense. You have into wine cooking. For some reason, I don't know why, this Blisterwood tree in Dark Mayor. The entire room is a safe zone. 63 wood cutting. 64 wood cutting. 65 wood cutting. 66 wood cutting. The best rune crafting experience in the game. And we get three rune crafting levels. 38, thank you. Okay, another barrel chest. Um can we get something? Nothing, 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 nothing. Boom, 58 Slayer. We can now kill Cave Horrors for the Black Mask. Okay, a clue scroll. Can we do this one? Step one, complete it, complete it, complete it. Potential casket. We got a casket. Beautiful. Yes! Hard casket in three, two, one. Yeah, I'm fully depressed. This is so bad. <laughs> Come on. There we go. It's dead. Thank you. We completed the task. Okay, thank you. Can we get the bucket now? Yeah, so I see dragon fruit seed. Okay, dragon fruit. That's a lot of experience. 89 eating beautiful. I have saved up 450k. Took me a few hours to get this money, and we're gonna make um, oak planks for construction. And that is one level. 58 construction. 59 construction. 60 construction. Have you ever seen a tier 9 star all for yourself? Mr. Hanusulo is mining it for me. 70 strength. Alright, so I got a hard clue scroll. I'm gonna need a blue dragon hide body for this one. Uh, so I need to boost my crafting up. Wait, I got the mushroom on the first try. I got the crafting boost on the first try. Okay, now I just need to make the pie. Okay, now we just need to not burn this mushroom pie. Thank you. Okay, this should be step one. Completed. 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 Maybe a casket? We got the casket. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's this guy. That's actually horrible. Wait, he, this is guy who gave me a donation just now. Okay, that's the first kill on this account. <laughs> What is that? I should probably run. Nah, he actually TV me as well. <laughs> Yo, I can rag him. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> this is actually fun. There we go, 62 fletching. We need these. Orange spices. We need some boosts here for construction. I think this is the guy where you buy a gold leaf, right? Gold leaf. There we go. 130k, gone. We want to make this one, Mahogany Eagle Lectern. And we're gonna need a plus four construction boost. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeehaw! Okay, look at this. We can now make, where is it? House teleports. Ah, oh, look at them. House teleports, so nice. Since I now have house tablets, I can save up two inventory slots when going to barrels. Uh, this is the method uh, Verve told me about, and I can now use Ivan Staff. All right, let's find out. Are we lucky? Back here at barrels. Nope. Nothing again. One of the few PvP hardcores have died. No, that's so sad. We're gonna drop pizza because we're gonna pick up all the dragon fruit. 17k, 79 farming. Um, we can now boost up to plant something, but I'm just gonna pick up these really quickly. At 83 farming, we can plant a spirit tree. So I'm, I'm gonna try to boost up to make this spirit tree sapling with brown spew. And there we go, beautiful. You can plant these spirit tree patches at very odd locations and they work as a very good transport. So I put mine in Brimhaven. Just slowly working towards the bruise. Here's 67 herb lore. 66 fire making. 68 wood getting. Nothing. 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 For nothing. Oh, there's someone there. Oh my god, he's there. 81 mining. 
And there we go. Bloodville task completed. So some days when you play a PvP hardcore Ironman, you just get a feeling to do something. And today I just feel like finally finishing this quest, Fremnet Trials. It's just it's a beginner quest, but it's got so many scary cutscenes that I've been afraid of. And today I just feel like doing it. Alright, so now when I die, I will spawn here with a huge delay. Right here. And if someone was waiting here, I could have died easily, but luckily no one was here. And there we go, Fremnik Trials have been completed! This has been a barrier for me for a very long time, I've just been so scared to complete this one. But it wasn't too hard, 69 crafting. We can now make blue DI shields, that's actually an upgrade, I didn't even realize. So I believe now that we have completed Fremnik Trials, I can actually do Lunar Diplomacy. Very useful quest, new spellbook unlocked, if we manage to complete it. And we are now officially on the lunar island. Let's go inside. And that's me killing me. And I believe that's gonna be the quest completed. Lunar diplomacy has been completed. Do we get any levels? 39 rune crafting, beautiful. And we have unlocked this spellbook right here. There's actually a few spells in here which are very useful. Where is that one? Spin flax, useful. Super glass make. I think this one is very useful. And one more thing, we can make teleports in our house. New teleports. All right, since I'm doing this quest line, I might as well continue with Fremnik Isle. Uh, XP, ooh, we can get some experience here. Hit points, I believe. Hit points, yeah, 20k experience to hit points, very nice. And that is a Helm of Nate's not unlocked. Um, plenty of XP as well. No levels though, no levels, but yeah, another quest completed and a Helm of Nate's not unlocked. And I think that is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. We did a lot of quests which opens up a lot of content for the next episode. So if you did enjoy this one, make sure to leave the video a like. And I will see you guys hopefully in one week. Goodbye. And of course the bounty have increased by 15 mil, plus 13 mil, plus 15 mil, plus 123 mil, plus 2 billion 500 and 2 million, putting the bounty at 11 billion 828 million. Yeah, the, the this guy who donated last King D file, he he wants me dead. So yeah, I feel like I'm dead next episode. Yep, 11.8 billion bounty. I had to say it twice. I cannot believe that. Today is a very special day here in Sweden. It is the Swedish holiday Midsummer which I'd say is the most celebrated day of the year. In my opinion, even bigger than Christmas and New Year. We start the day by raising the Midsummer Pole. Normally they look something like this, uh, but this area that I celebrated Midsummer in had a little different looking pole. Once the pole is up, the music starts playing and everyone starts dancing in a ring. And we got a very special dance here in Sweden that everyone knows of. It's called Små Grodorna translated to English, small frogs. Basically everyone dances and jumps around like a frog. There is so much more to Swedish Midsummer. I could probably make a full documentary about Swedish Midsummer, but I'm gonna keep this one short. And maybe next year I'll make an even longer vlog. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.